After last night's election results, President Hollande must be wondering who could eventually replace him as host on the steps of the Elysee Palace. Could it really be her, Marine Le Pen, the head of the National Front? Ooh, du monde. What a crowd, she said, with faux surprise at the cicada-like chorus of snappers. Yesterday's elections may only have been regional, but they've added to the momentum of her anti-EU, anti-immigration party, now the biggest in France. Maintenant, le choix est clair. There is a clear choice between the old system that has run out of steam, has brought insecurity, uncertainty, unemployment and a dilution of French values. And then us, who put France above all else and will allow the French people to recapture the political class. Fighting French words with flags and drum roll to match. But they might as well be Spanish, Greek, Italian or even English. Populism both on the right and the left is on the rise just about everywhere in Europe. But the woman posing with the cows, or is it the other way around, could make history twice by becoming France's first female and far-right-wing president in 2017. She has softened the party's image, breaking with her father and erstwhile mentor, the abrasive founder of the National Front, Jean-Marie Le Pen. When we met them both at a party in 2014, they barely spoke. This summer, after a public feud, she expelled him from the ranks officially excommunicating the party's most unsavoury past. Out with the old, in with the new. The new Le Pen blood, that is, in the form of Marion Maréchal Le Pen, the founder's granddaughter. She may be only 25 years old, but she dominated France's south in yesterday's election. As Les Dames Le Pen sweep through France's political landscape like hurricanes, the male veterans are left playing catch-up. Nicolas Sarkozy, the ex-president, towered over by his wife, Carla Bruni. His party was yesterday's runner-up. He is hoping to return to the Elysee Palace in 2017. He's moved the party to the right in the hopes of stealing some of the National Front's votes. Every politician is having to change their tone and their policies after last month's attacks in Paris. But with their anti-immigration message, their opposition to Europe, and their fear-mongering over France's sizable Muslim minority, the National Front is best placed to capitalize on the nation's febrile mood.